Hey, so this is going to be my hydroboration video. If you guys are watching this video, chances are you hate this reaction as much as I do. <laughs> okay, so first things first, just like before, how do you tell it's going to be a hydroboration reaction, right? Well, chances are if you see BH3, THF, so that's tetrahydrofuran, it's actually not that important. Um, but yeah, if you see BH3, THF, and these three oxygen containing reactants, it's going to be hydroboration. There's not that many reactions in organic chemistry that involve boron. That's the boron, that's the B in BH3. Uh, to be honest, after orgo 1, orgo 2, I don't remember a single other reaction with boron or BH3. But anyway, yeah, so THF is not even that important. Just a quick heads up if any of you are interested. BH3 is actually a really, really dangerous gas. It's toxic and ignitable in air. So that's why we dissolve it in tetrahydrofuran, which is like a liquid. So this way, you know, our faces don't, so things don't blow up in our face. You know, no big deal, but yeah. Before I tell you guys how you can guess what the product is gonna be, I want you guys to just give it a shot, you know? Try it out, uh, use the same method I did before to guess the product for this one. But um, yeah, guess the product for hydroboration. If you guys get stuck, hint, hint, hint. And uh, yeah, so hit pause. Okay, so hopefully you guys already hit pause. Don't be lazy, I'm watching you. But okay, how I get the product for this one is, just like before, I redraw my molecule without the double bond because we're doing an addition reaction, right? So the double bond is going to be used up. All right, so CH3 over here. I ran out of space. Okay, but since it's anti Markovnikov, hydroboration follows this instead. Um, your hydrogen is going to be added on to the side that has less hydrogens as opposed to before for Markovnikov, where it got added onto the side with more hydrogens. So your hydrogen's gonna add and get added here in the end. And then your boron, it doesn't even show up in your final product. Instead, you guys are gonna get just a alcohol. The important thing for hydroboration is that your alcohol and your hydrogen are facing the same side, and the alcohol is, is gonna be added onto the side that has more hydrogens just like anti-Markovnikov rule says, okay? So it's not gonna be like your acid catalyzed hydration where you get your alcohol on the side with more uh, methyl groups. And the reason behind that is because this, the, the, me the mechanism doesn't involve a carbocation. You don't really care about, you don't really care as much about stabilizing your molecule. And I'll show you why in just a couple seconds, okay? Okay, so mechanism time. All right, so for the hydroboration mechanism, I like to think of it like a spacecraft or alien spaceship landing down, because that's basically how the reaction occurs. And that's why it's very important that things end up on the same side. So when you land down here, uh, it's very important that you guys know this, boron's kind of like a wimp. He isn't very electronegative. He can't hold on to his electrons as strong as chlorine or oxygen can. So instead of there being a partial positive on the, on the hydrogen because the electrons are being pulled away, they actually have a partial um, negative because they're actually stronger than the boron. They can hold on to their electrons. And then boron, and, uh, as a result, will get a partial positive charge. So just like before, you, you start from where the area where you have electrons, your alkene, uh, or your double bond, and you're going to draw an arrow attacking this positive, because negative likes positive, right? So when you attack it, right, boron likes to sustain only three bonds. He has that right now, but he's getting a fourth bond. So which one does he give up? Any one of the hydrogens? I'm just going to show this one. But instead of doing this, right? Instead of giving the electrons to hydrogen and forming a hydride ion, which is very unstable, you, kn you already know that when your double bond attacks, the electrons go to one of the carbons for the attack, and it forms a bond, right? Here, it, it migrated over to this carbon and formed the bond with the hydrogen. Here, it's going to go over to, uh, let's see, it's going to go over to this carbon over here, so this way, you form a carbocation on the carbon that's more stable since, it's has, since it has more carbons bonded to it, and carbons can share electrons. So that positive charge isn't as unstable. So you know there's gonna be a positive charge that's forming right here. So your molecules themselves, they're really smart. They like stability. So instead of doing that, the electrons in a bond are just gonna come right down and plug in that carbocation. And instead, you're gonna, you're gonna avoid a carbocation and create a stable molecule. Uh, the molecule that you should have is this molecule over here. Uh, your boron's attached now, 
everything is nice and neutral because you didn't have a carbocation, this reaction follows an anti-Markovnikov. But uh, notice the difference. The double bond attacked the boron now instead of the hydrogen that it normally attacks in the acid catalyzed hydration reaction or hydrohalogenation and all those other reactions. Because the boron, he's a wimp. He can't hold on to his electrons. So that's the huge difference for hydroboration. Uh, and now your hydrogen's on the side that has uh, less hydrogens. But anyway, so those are the big exceptions. Now I'm going to show you guys the shortcut that I found for this reaction. If you guys are interested in actually seeing the long mechanism for it, uh, just post a comment. I won't make the video unless you guys request it because I personally don't feel like it's very useful for Orgo2. The important thing is remembering what your product is going to be. So the way I remember it is just you have a OH minus from one of these guys here. It comes in, attacks the boron. Uh, you don't have inversion or anything like that. You have retention, meaning like the attacker attacks on the same side or whatever, and your boron gets kicked out. Who cares about him? It doesn't matter and you get this product over here, okay? Boron was facing up, the alcohol that comes in stays facing up as well. And that's, I'm pretty sure it's always gonna be your product for hydroboration. I have not seen any exceptions yet. So yeah, you could trust this method, okay? If your professor actually does want you to do the mechanism out on the test, he should have given you the notes. If you want me to go through them, then just uh, post a comment down below or send me a message or uh, yeah, contact me through Facebook. Uh, anyway, yeah, so this is basically the hydroboration video. Um, hopefully you like how I simplified it down. If you have any suggestions or comments, post it down below. If you like my video, like it down there. Uh, yeah, if you want to get updated when I make future videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Okay? Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'll shut up now. Bye.